Howdy friends, fellow beer geeks, I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a beer for you from Magic Hat Brewing out of Vermont, uh, out of uh, South Burlington, Vermont to be exact. This is their Elder Betty, a Berry Vice, uh, comes in at 5.5% ABV, and uh, just happened to see this at the, at the local beer store. Uh, it was a single, it was two bucks. I, just thought, what the heck, I haven't, haven't had a Magic Hat beer in a while, and I haven't had this one before at all. So I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, my first craft beer ever was a Magic Hat number 9, uh, about 12, 13 years ago now. So I uh, thought I'd go ahead and give this one a shot and see what it's like and see what Magic Hat's up to. And It's, it's hotter than hell, middle of August here, so uh, don't want any really heavy beers. So uh, Berry Vice sounds like a really good, refreshing thing, so... Let's get this cracked open, get it into a glass, and I'll let you know what I think of it. Okay, so this pours out a nice sort of uh, yellowish color, lots and lots of carbonation streaming up from the bottom of the glass there. Very, very pretty beer. Uh, slightly hazy, but not very much. Pretty clear. Uh, let's see what the aroma is like. Definitely getting some berries in the aroma. Um, uh, like Maybe like a raspberry or blueberry sort of uh, aroma to it. I don't know exactly what kind of flavorings they're putting into this, but I'm guessing it's something something of that effect blueberry or raspberry or something like something like that so i'm ready to go ahead and give this a taste and i'll let you know what i think cheers all right the taste is not it's not so good it's it um it almost has like a cheap lager taste to it i don't know why it has a nice light to medium mouthfeel to it but i'm getting like like a corn or a rice almost flavor to this, like a cheap, you know, cheap adjunct lager. Uh, not getting much in the way of berry flavoring. Uh, there is a, a bit in the aroma. Yeah, I have to admit, I was kind of expecting a little more from this. I have had some some pretty good uh, sort of lighter, hot, warm weather kind of beers recently, and um, yeah, I was expecting a little more from this. I was hoping maybe this would be uh, something interesting to drink on a, on a warm, uh, on these hot days that we're having, um, but, yeah, this is, this is not really impressing me that much. I'm almost getting like a, like a sewer drain sort of smell off of it. It's like, it's not, it's just not good. I'm almost wondering if there is corn or rice or something in here. Uh, this is it's not impressing me at all. So I've been reading up on this a bit, and apparently the, the berry extract they're using in here is from elderberries, which I, I don't have really much experience with. I think that's mostly a northern sort of fruit. Uh, I don't really know much about it. And yeah, I'm also not sure quite how old this bottle is. Uh, I, I really don't know. I can't read the date codes on these. I don't know uh, what... Magic Hat's uh, date, dating system works, whether the numbers on the bottle mean anything or not. Um, but yeah, I'm just not not getting really any pleasant flavors from this. It just tastes kind of cheap and low quality and uh, with a little bit of berry flavoring in there. Like I said, I am getting a bit of off flavoring, like a, like a sewer drain kind of smell almost to it. Uh, so it may just be this is an old old bottle. Um, it may just be that this is not really very good beer. Um, yeah, my my experiences with with Magic Hat have been not so great in recent years. So I think the quality has gone gone down. Um, I know I know my palate has expanded from you know my first experience with Magic Hat. Uh, so you know it was it was quite a shock to me. But. Yeah, this is, this is definitely not something I can recommend. So yeah, for the Magic Hat Elder Betty, 
very vice. I'm going to have to come in around a, a 4 out of 10 on this. I, mean, I can't recommend it. I'm not liking it. Uh, it's not It's not terrible. It's certainly not the worst beer I've ever had, but it, if you're looking for something refreshing and fruity in the summertime, uh, this is not this is not anything I can recommend. I mean, I, uh, you want something something good that's sort of easy drinking like this and easily approachable for anyone. Go for like a uh, uh, maybe like an Abita strawberry ale or something like that. Uh, those are those are really good. This is, just doesn't live up to the, live up to that kind of beer. So yeah, four out of ten. Elder Betty, Berry Vice. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek. You can find this review plus more over at craftbeergeek.com. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.